Welcome to the Pish Tosh Podcast with Emma Redmarch Rose. Thank you for listening as I share my interviews with students of the performing arts. I would like to introduce our very first female guest on the Pish Tosh Podcast. Mary Doctor. I was in writing one with her this summer and I have mentioned her on the show too many times already. I'm so excited to share our conversations with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was good. And we're rolling. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. I caught you in a moment. This is um, Mary Doctor. I'm mm-hmm. with Mary Doctor. Mm-hmm. Mary Doctor here. Okay. So we've had a lot of fascinating middle names. Mm-hmm. Nelson. Yes. Harlem. Wait, Herman. You haven't heard that one yet. That's Jack's middle name. I haven't heard that one yet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, exciting. Uh, (laughs) Brian. Um, Et cetera. Now. What was Sam? Sam something Lieberman. Nelson. Sam Nelson Lieberman? No, that was Cody's. Nelson Hoker. Because these are the important things. Sam. I'm being tested, right? Aiden. Aiden. I mean, wood is it? Yeah. It's not wood. You passed it. Wood is it? Wood is it? Okay. Is it wood? <laughs> Would it be? <laughs> That's great. Uh, oh my god. But uh, my le- my my middle name is none of those. It, it's actually a Mary lady name. None of those. No 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 no. I'm saying that uh, my middle name is a lady's name, not any of those. Oh, man that makes names. sense. That makes yes. sense. Yes. Yeah. And uh. Do you get to guess it? Because I like it when you guess it. Oh, thank you. Okay. I would love to. <laughs> I feel like I'm making too much eye contact with Mary right now, but it's because it's very I'm intimate. So excited. It's okay, but like yes. in like a good way. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, uh, so my so everyone always guesses it on the first try. What my middle name is? Are you ready? This is a lot of pressure for you. Anne. No, no. I'm gonna Dang give it. you a letter. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I'm so ready. Okay, we'll scratch that. Uh, okay, so your letter. Is the letter T? Mary Teresa. Yep. <laughs> oh my God! Literally, everyone that tries to guess. And wow. this was—I went to a party last night, and uh, did, well, it's not—it was a work party, but like work parties Wednesday, are real fun. Hump day party. Hump day party. <laughs> Wine Wednesdays. Am Yay. I right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it at that for some reason we got on the tangent of guessing people's middle names and literally every person guessed it the first time they guessed. Oh so. my gosh. You are one of those people. Is also. it a difficult name to live up to? I mean, well, your last um, name is Doctor. Yeah. So what the hell? So What's it's like it's parents? like a so very religious physician is yes. what my name is. Oh my god, I'm like the opposite of that. I'm like I am also just a hobo. Oh, well, I don't know if a hobo and a physician are opposites, but they are very close. A murderer. I'm an agnostic murderer. Oh, okay. You heard it here um, first, folks. I'm In grabbing my phone, phone dialing 911 right Hoopla. Now. No, not hoopla. What's that? Um, nun- nunya. There's a Noonlight. Have you ever tried that? There's an app that you put your thumb on it, and you leave your thumb on it when you're in a dangerous situation, and then when you take your thumb off, the police are notified. That seems like... The police would be called so many times on false alarms. Yes, yes, it's dead. Yeah, yeah, that does happen. Yeah, to someone else. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so right now we're in this room right now, and I'm so happy. So we're at the Second City, and we reserved a room, and they gave us the exact room. This is the room that we met in, Emma. This is the room where we had our first meeting. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't have a better way of putting it. But but really, our first conversation happened outside this room. That's true. That's because true. because in in class we like went around and like told a little bit about ourselves and. Emma, you had just moved to Chicago. Like you were like two days here or something yeah. like that. I was and like, I was my like, eyes weren't even open yet. What? My eyes weren't even open. Yeah, yet. no. If you were a, if you were a bird, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Birds don't yep, open their I, eyes yeah. for a wa- for a while. If you're a bird, I am still oh, wow. human, and this is awkward because I'm talking to a bird. Um, uh, is it supposed to be a notebook reference? Did you get it? Okay. Oh. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. It's from a romantic yes, comedy. Yes, I love the notebook. I don't even notebook. know if it would be comedy. I don't think it is. It's well, actually quite sad. You can laugh at anything, really. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Unless you have a condition, which would be really sad. Oh, my God. You have a condition where you can't laugh? I, d- I don't. 
No, me either. But if you did. We should try to not laugh at all throughout the rest of the podcast. Th that is going to go horribly. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stop playing let's with this cord because I don't think that's going to help. Oh, yeah. Let's start now. No laughing. No laughing. Stop. Okay. Got it. Um, Mary Teresa Doctor. That is my name. What a fabulous name. And I remember when when we first met, you were so kind, and you approached me immediately. And oh, yeah. So no, excited. yeah. I saw you in this classroom, oh. and I was like, that chick just moved oh here. And I feel like she's going to get stuff done when she comes to Chicago and tries to do comedy. So I would like to talk to her. Also, I want to give her guidance in the ways of the city, not in comedy, because although I have been here about five years, I and I've been in the scene for about three and a half, like, I have no guidance to give. I am a... I am a fresh little bird still in and still working on pecking my way out of the of the what do they come in eggs right yes I was gonna say shell but shells are not the those are the after that's when you've already pecked your way out then it's a shell right? oh see and then I was thinking like a crustaceans kind of a shell a sea seashell shell that is correct I think that you do have something to give and I think that I saw that. Do you know what? You know what? It was exactly two months ago today. <gasps> oh, when yeah. what happened? It was when we, May when... 18th, the first time I saw Mary Doctor oh, on stage. Yeah. It was May 18th. It was a Saturday. It was a lovely, beautiful day. Was, it was actually rainy as hell. But then it cleared up in the But evening. yeah, but I mean, we were in this beautiful room, so we can't really <sighs> see the outside anyway. And who cares? It was a great day. Yeah. That was actually a day that I met Corey. Damn. Damn, man, man, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He was like, do you want to ride? And I was like, I don't know you. And I was like, but sure. I'm going to get into a car with a stranger. This is great. Yeah, we do it in Uber all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was on the phone with my mom on the way from work today to get here, and I got in an Uber to get here. Uh -huh. And uh, it was an Uber pool, so there were definitely Ooh, two people in the favorite. back and the driver. No one was talking, but I was on the phone with my mom. Mm. So they learned all about my, uh, oh my God. Great. intimate details of my life this wow. week so I hope they I'm enjoyed so them. jealous of them <laughs> that's exactly what I want to know oh man and I don't think we've mentioned it yet you are my first female <gasps> guest that Ladies. I know of I don't want to assume any of this gender I'm but yeah girl power <laughs> I don't want to be sexist but go women men are terrible no I'm just kidding <laughs> men are fine too men are fine. they're fine yeah. I like to have them around sometimes yeah you like men you I think I met I do like men you men. you met my man very excited and not yes. your man he I'm is to be mine careful. he is mine <laughs> no one else. oh my god I was actually just singing that song that um because you're mine, bam, bam, my walk I walk the line. The line yeah. I, was, I realized that I sang that because your mind part so creepily. I'd be like, <laughs> I find it very, very easy to be true. And then I get to, because you're mine. And then every uh, time it's terrifying. Different artist, but you know what's my favorite Christmas carol? What's that? Blue Christmas. Oh. Because I love singing it because it's so bad. I sing it so badly, but like so amazing. What made well. you think of that? Because of the <laughs> voice. <laughs> uh, because of like Speaking the, of it's singing <laughs> songs really badly. No, I am under no pretense. Uh, my voice has been so rough since birth, but especially these past three weeks have been raw. I think it's because I haven't been giving myself any breaks in the vocals. Breaks category. in the vocals? Break in the vocal stream. <laughs> I've just been speaking nonstop. Mostly to my dog, though, fortunately. She doesn't mind. She seems pretty cute. <laughs> she's great. I just, I'm just trying to be modest because she's super cute. Oh, my God. Thank I just, you. She I just don't want to uh, blow up her head too much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Because yeah. her head is she pretty big right now. She needs to, like... Yeah. And she just got... I know I've done. never met her, but, like, oh I... Oh, like, She is all about it. Yeah. I mean... She's getting it. She runs the house. <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. I'm going to stop playing with this cord. I keep... Oh, touching. you play with whatever you want. Do you Woo! have a... Um, oh, Sorry. Yeah, she's just whipping her around <laughs> like a lasso. Like a... Yeah. I was thinking more of like a, like a, like a boa. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. These sound effects. I'm going to work on the sound effects. Um, so you are my... You are my Michelle Obama of... My oh, podcast. I am your first lady. You are my first lady. I that's and I like that you made me Michelle Obama instead yeah. of Ivanka. Not my first lady. Um, that's oh, what I that's, say. Oh, I like that better. Yeah. But also, I think yeah. Okay. Michelle Obama is my first lady. I love um, that. Yeah. Even uh -huh. though I am pale and Eastern European. So. Yeah, but you got great arms. Oh, <laughs> in that denim. Ugh, yeah. So this 
this. Uh, yes, tell me about your ensemble. So my ensemble, I uh, <laughs> I came from work. I work in an office, uh, but it's a super chill office. Nice. And so I can wear anything that I want except for shorts. Nice. We can't wear shorts. Well, we can now, but I am against it because I think it looks too cash. Oh, anyway, yeah. we can wear them, but your own rules. Yeah, I also don't know if I really own shorts. <gasps> really? I know. I think I do. I think I think you might be wearing some right now. Yeah, my <laughs> shorts are so short that the pockets come out of the. I bottom. like that. I I have never I've never had. That. I am more of a skirt kind of a girl. I got these from the flea market for four dollars. Dude, yeah. flea markets. We need to take a segue into flea markets. Like literally, let's jump on a Segway. Oh my God! I would and love go to, to a, a flea market. Flea market. <laughs> oh my God! I love flea markets so much. That's where I've gotten like a lot of my pets. Yeah. What? And clothes? I mean, clothes. I said clothes. Uh, yep, that too. That too. Actually, there's a flea market in Florida that I used to go to with my par- my grandparents because they lived really close to it in Eustis, Florida. And wait, your grand your parents lived grand in Florida? Parents. Your grandparents lived in Florida? Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, what did I say? No that laughing. Was confusing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. We're doing a really bad job of not okay, laughing. Good. good. Uh, oh, so yeah, but they sold puppies market. at that flea market. That's what it made oh, me think of. Oh, that's yeah. great. It was so hot, I bet. They just couldn't. They were flying like hot cakes. Those puppies. Puppies don't fly. <gasps> that explains yeah. a lot of. Even Floridian puppies don't fly. <laughs> Oops. Burp, burp. Uh, no more side effects. Side effects? <laughs> Sound effects. I am a doctor. Oh my God. Let's talk about side effects. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are the side effects of your uh, wonderful... Oh, speaking of your ensemble, actually. Ensemble. Ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I moved my lips at all that time. No, you did not. Oh, man. Um, oh, could you describe this for me? What I, what I have? I here? would say it is a, uh, it is a plaid... It looks like a men's plaid shirt that has snappy buttons, which I bet is really fun to take off because you button them up and then you oh, tear yeah. them off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that correct? I don't know. That's perfect. Oh, no, God. I just realized something the other day. All of my podcasts, I've had this with me. Oh, this is the one that this your aunt one. took out of the laundry and just she cried because so she thought about. it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one. This is wow. that very one. Wow, that's going to be famous someday. Absolutely. I like that you said snappy buttons. And I know you mean that they're snaps, but I like to think that you mean that they're really, really cool. Snappy buttons. Yeah, I like that. That <laughs> can be a snappy shirt. That can be an advertisement oh. that we write. Snappy buttons. <gasps> snappy buttons. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Uh, this shirt has snappy buttons also. It does. Um, can we hear it? Ooh. Maybe you heard that. I don't know. I also, also hit my elbow. There's one more love, yeah. <laughs> yep. This well, is I tr- I'm trying to be modest. That's right, office attire. Office attire. Speaking of your ensemble, would you like to talk about your... Oh, I said it right that time. It didn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have an ensemble of another sort as well? An improvisational ensemble. ensemble. <laughs> I would like to, I I'm would like, like I, to hear about that I also. I think I know what you're talking yep, about. I'm not it was sure. Yep, um, yeah, so, so what, I've been in Chicago five years. Over oh, five years. Where are you from? And, yeah, that's a great way place to start. Uh, oh, I'm from Aurora, Illinois. <gasps> oh, oh, which way is over. Way, way. I don't know where that is. Yeah, like an hour outside. Is that where they have the lights? They. It is called the City of Lights. <gasps> there we go. <gasps> Aurora Borealis is what you're thinking. God bless you. Thank you. Um, but those are those are far north, I believe, which is. Uh, wow, we're pretty far north. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Is that it's not the same. Because I'm saying that, like, I'm west of Chicago, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where, that's where I'm from. Um, but uh, <laughs> I've been in Chicago five years. <laughs> um, but I do live in north, uh, like, north kind of Chicago. I live... Oh, that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I live north of <laughs> Wrigleyville. Have you been to Wrigleyville yet? Is that like Wrigley Field? Yes. I didn't mean to wave at that guy. <laughs> yeah, why are you Somebody waving Somebody peeked in the strangers? door and I just waved. I wave at everyone. That's interesting. I think it comes from being from the South, man. I just wave and you just no want to be waves. friendly I all do. the time. I want to. Like I thought that I was friendly, and then I went to the South, oh. and I'm like, you guys are so friendly. You know, my mom used to give me advice. She'd say, "You should be polite, but not friendly, Emma." And I'd say, "Well, why?" And she said, "Because then they'll get the wrong idea." And I said, mm. like, "We want to be friends," and she's like, "Exactly." Exactly, but like, friends in the sheets. Hi! Oh, sorry. <laughs> too far? Too far? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's exciting. <laughs> like, like a nap. 
Um, <laughs> napping friends. That's the kind of friendship yeah. I want. Uh, I'm using a nap to record this right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so you so you moved here. So you moved to Chicago, North Side. Yes. Well, now years ago. yes, yes. So I mean, I've lived um, a couple of places in Chicago. Nice. Uh, but I you asked about my improv ensemble. I did. I did. Uh, so we, our name is Conscious Pontius. Conscious Pontius, not mm -hmm. Pontius. I realized that five seconds after. Um, did I you grow up with a that. religious background at all? I did, I, but I what I did it to also. Let me preface this. I also um, there was a lot of trauma in my childhood. I got really good at repression. Mm, so okay. I forget. I call it. I call it spontaneous immediate repression. So I'll learn something, and then I get to learn it again. And I love learning. That's so great. It's great. I'm very positive, and I just I love. I love le life and I love learning. That's wonderful. But it makes me a little repetitive sometimes too. I, that's great. Because then it makes me feel smart because I remember those things. That's and so great. it's like, I will just teach you all of these things all over and over again. Absolutely. What was because the question? Because then I will be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our comedy team's name is Conscious Pontius. Conscious Pontius. And. Um, how did I have I seen you guys and still pronounce it wrong? That's how good I am. Because it can't. You, I have to look up how to spell conscious Pontius every single time I write out the name. That's how I am with grievous. Grievous U.S. Gr that's how I have to say it. And US. that's still wrong. It's I wrong if you pronounce also it. Also, like have that. never. Um, I have never actually heard that word before. Grievous. Grievous. Oh, I think okay. it's grievous. Okay, so now uh, I'm. Grievous? Now I just. I have a grievance. Yeah. What? Oh no. Uh. Can we just talk about it off the air? Air, yes, yes. Okay, um, we're gonna go to a break. I'm gonna hear your grievance. Okay, thank grievance. you. A lot of my commercial breaks are silly, but I wanted to be serious just for a moment and raise awareness for rheumatoid arthritis. There's over 31,000 cases, uh, new cases diagnosed every year. That's more than three every hour. A good friend of mine, Michelle from North Carolina, she suffers from it, and she is like one of the most positive people I know. Even though it's put her in the hospital, it's it's um, caused a lot of uh, challenges in her life. But she's always um, such a happy, enthusiastic person. Um, also, my brother, uh, his father passed away about a month ago after struggling with rheumatoid arthritis for most of his adult life. Um, he's been bed bound for quite some time. My brothers and sisters are some of the most important people in my life, and so I want to encourage you to go to curearthritis.org and find out how you can help out um, to find a cure. And also, I wanted to share a little clip of some moments that me and my brothers shared while I was in North Carolina a couple weeks ago. My brother Nathan is in the background playing and singing Margaritaville wonderfully, and my other brother Tyson and I are having a conversation over top of this and completely ignoring him for some reason, but uh, my brother Tyson is telling me about a tattoo that he got in honor of his father. Alrighty. I love you, Nathan. I love you, Tyson. I love you, Becky. I love you, Brittany. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Evening on Sponge Oh, there we go. Watching the sun bake. Nothing to show but this brand new tattoo. Oh, yeah. And it's a real good job. It is. It says fuck our age. You can't even tell. It's awesome. It says fuck. Right. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I meant to. I was doing something exactly earlier and I forgot how to do there. it. I was going. <laughs> <laughs> that time it came out wrong. Hey guys. Hey. hey. <laughs> Look at my thing. Check out. I, when I first saw it, I was like, "Fuck Ra." Yeah. Like, who's I'm so what's stupid. What's a fuck Ra? What's a fuck Ra? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You I need to get your fuck Ra's in order. Room to a whopper. Line up all your fuck Ra's. Your head fuckra and your chest fuckra. Yeah, and your middle, middle little nipple chakra. Tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue. Too isolated. Already. Okay. And we're back with Hello. Mary Teresa Magdalene um, <laughs> Dollop Doctor. Okay, so I, I just became even that. more religious, and then, uh, and then food. Well, and then you know, a dollop is my favorite form. You know, of like okay. measurement. Yeah, it wasn't for food, dollop. when it comes to food. Like a dollop of taco, or a dollop of pizza. That doesn't make any sense. Have you ever tried it? No. Because it's impossible? 
that why? <laughs> oh god. Oh. I just kind I just kind of like tried to laugh, but then I swallowed it and then it just kind of <gasps> Oh. It was great though. It felt it felt great. It was wonderful. I feel like I made you feel bad. That's that was great. That was a great feeling. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a dollop of laughter that you just swallowed. Fuck yeah. Oh. Yeah, Listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of explicit, we're over here. We've moved locations. We're now in the, in the booths of Second City. Yeah, I and feel you know, like I need to talk more into my boob now, but I don't think I should. Well, we're talking in a booth right now. Yes. I've heard that Second City has the most beautiful booths. Big. <laughs> they're actually cushy. they are cushy. <laughs> they're cushy booths. Mm. They're just banging on this booth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Explicit. Emma. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I. My virgin ears, <gasps> like I can't. Mother Teresa I can't ears. Do I'm Mary. I can't. <laughs> I'm Mary Teresa ears. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't say that. So would your name be Mother Doctor? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, I think I want to use that as a swear from now on, though. Mother Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Did uh, you get bring the Mother Doctor? <gasps> no, that doesn't work. Does that work? Um, we can make it work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We made it work. Uh, yeah. Just imagine. Well, yeah. I love imagining. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. We'll just imagine that's funny. <laughs> you all do that, too. But I do every day. Sorry, my fingers are really cold now, and so I keep, like, touching them to my face, which is warm. <gasps> I do the same thing. Because it's like, that's so, so funny. This is cold. Oh this gosh. is hot. This is cold. Oh, hot. we're getting rosy cheeks. <laughs> oh. You know, the doctor in the rose sounds a lot like a soap opera. Whoa, can, can we, we can make, make it? A, we can or make a, a telenovela. <gasps> it does. Ooh, that's yeah. me. Uh, so, speaking of do telenovela, you speak I do not. Um, but I saw, I have a few friends that are on an improv team where they do improvised telenovelas. Wow. It's awesome. It's oh my god, that sounds amazing. So cool. They're, na- they're called Las Tinas. Las Tinas. And I'm giving them a shout out, even though you've never no, met I'm them. No, I'm so happy. Yeah, I yeah. cannot wait. I'm uh, going to have to try them out. Las Tinas is great, and they have a show at the Macaw. At the Macaw. At the, is it right? I'm not sure. We'll look it up, and know. I'll let you know. I should know, um, and you should know, because we're birds. Yeah, birds. Macaw. Birds of a feather. <laughs> we're flocking in boots. Flocking. Flocking. Flocking together. That's our that's our theme song for our um, intro. <laughs> Tell it over <laughs> intro theme song. Yep, flocking together. I wish I knew what birds was in Spanish. I'll figure it out for the reference section. Yes, that's it. very important. That's right. Yeah, that'll be the only thing. That'll be the only thing that I put in there. It's just thing. what the birds, what birds is in Spanish. Speaking of birds, did you ever read that book that I suggested to you? Oh it was God. called Bird by Bird. No, but I still have it written down in my phone. Yeah, it's a great book. Which doesn't mean anything, I ha- but I will. Well, you know what? It's written down maybe someday. Maybe by the time that this comes out, I'll have read it. Maybe. That would be great. It's not that long of a book, but it's a really, really awesome book. And it um, it really just made me want like understand and like be able to break down writing so that I can... Oh, my God. Sounds amazing. Do it. Oh, the reason why we talked about it before yes. was because you showed me your Red March... Octopus, <gasps> yes, shirts, yeah, etc. Th- this is not. I'm I'm holding my hands in I'm a circle right staring now, staring at this and circle. she is staring at them. But I'm waiting for I to do something. Promise that, that nothing's happening. I <gasps> just ta- what happened? I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's okay. good. I saw it, but it's uh, it's fine. That wow, I. You're magic, I Mary miss- Doctor. You're just a religious. <laughs> Physician <laughs> of magic, magician, religious physician, magician. <laughs> <That's> yes, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Mother Mary Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, and what? When is this show though? Too with the um, your uh, improv, the not your your improv group, but the improv group you were telling me about this. Oh, uh, it is on Saturday nights at nine thirty. Every Saturday night? No. Oh, it's sorry. From, it's started last week, and I think it runs for like four or five weeks. So oh, they might be able to catch it. Yeah, yeah. Depending on when this comes out, yeah. which I know already. I plan ahead. I'm very good. Elena, I'm very astute. I can't tell oh, if that's kidding or not. It's getting. Oh, okay, good. It's getting hard, dude. But you're so good at it that like I didn't even. <gasps> I could. You, your bluffs didn't even see them. Can you see my bluffs right now? Are they showing? Uh, just slightly. Oh, sorry. Slightly. Yeah, I cut up a little cover bit. Cover that up. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is modest. We have to be modest. You know, I've gained 15 pounds since I've come to Chicago. Welcome to the Midwest. All in my booths. <laughs> it's very fortunate. <laughs> That's actually great. That's the best place to Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. The pounds. And, and you know, it could I could have gained it other places, but when I look down, that's all I can see now. Oh. I really wish this yeah. wasn't recorded. D it's good that uh, mirrors are not invented. I forget that it's not just girl talk right now. Yeah, that's That hard we're being to, recorded. Yeah. Um, Talking about boots. You can't yeah. talk about those with boys. I like big boots and I cannot lie. lie. You other boys can't do that. When a girl walks in with an itty waist and a boots. Never gets around. <laughs> crash and burn. Oh man. Um, so hopefully that's not. And where where's this play? Where's it this is? Um, I I will look it up and tell you. It's nice. like the I'll put in the we said section. macaw, but I don't know if that's real. I know that it's nor. That's right, the macaw. Possibly. <laughs> nor. Yeah, we'll put all of that. I'll get I'll get back in touch with you. Yes, we will talk. Uh, where this is a promise that we are going to talk after this because we are not going to get in a fight. We just pinky promised. A very I've awkward I've one. I'm never sorry that I'm weird. I don't know if I've been in a fight. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I need it, it needed to be yeah. it needed oh, to be more um, uh, uh, secure. Yep. We pinky promised. Wow, I really like this. I just want to start sentences and have you finish them. Oh. I'm thinking about a tall, dark, and ugly bowl of spaghetti that you. Present. Throw <laughs> at the Pope. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we well, should pinky swear with this one because this one had an extra finger growing out of it. What? Can you see that nub right there? Please do explain. See I just nub? touched your nubs. That had another pinky there. Yeah, I, had, I was born <gasps> with. I was born with eleven. I don't believe you. Yeah, you can call my mom. She should was we there. call her right now? Yeah, I was born at home, and my mom just cut it off when I was born. Well, she did, did a lot of, yeah. And it was growing right out of that one. Well, <laughs> you know what? That's, uh... Does this make you uncomfortable? This is um, only slightly, but it's okay. Yeah, it's, she is uh, lightly... <laughs> I don't want to say fingering her nub, but... <laughs> <laughs> fingering my finger. <laughs> Your nub finger. Nubby. Uh, Nubs. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there we go. R.I.P., I guess. Yeah. R.I.P. Finger 11. Hey! Like the band. So, do you have any performances coming up? Subject change? <laughs> higher pitch because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, conscious conscious. CP. Conscious conscious. Uh, we go by CP. Oh, I like that. Yeah, me too. It's easier to spell. Yeah. Cool. CP. And mm -hmm. um, so CP is performing at nine o'clock at the Comedy Clubhouse on oh, yeah. Saturday night. I think this week. Oh, which is in the past uh but maybe by the time you get this up It'll then be we another will have saturday another one because we have shows every other saturday oh my gosh so fingers crossed that it's this saturday night if not it's next saturday night so that's it's great. next saturday I night actually that. in real life yes oh nice so maybe in in podcast life too <gasps> whoa or just always come to the comedy clubhouse on saturday yeah, nights at nine o'clock and time. see you someone got a 50 and 50 shot and it's you have a hundred percent chance of it being hilarious <laughs> exactly yeah that's where i went two months ago i went to the comedy clubhouse because mary doctor introduced herself was very kind said come to this this show yeah and i did and yeah no regrets regrets yeah i have some regrets of the things that i've admitted on this podcast Red so far <gasps> Red, i don't know yes. egrets those are birds <gasps> As are we. Oh, Yay, Birdcast. Bird are you hearing this up there? We could podcast it instead of podcast it. And then you'd be able to hear it. <laughs> That's what my dad calls it. Actually, just the other day, he goes, Emma, I listened to your iPod. And I said, oh, okay. Um, and then he said, I said, well, which, you know, which one did you listen to? And he said, well, we had a gentleman. And I said, oh, that narrows it down. So which, what were we talking about? He's like, well, I only listened from, for a minute. And I get it. <laughs> and that was the end of the conversation. Wow. So. That sounds great. Yeah, he's a sweet old man. I have to watch what I'm saying on this podcast today. <gasps> Do you think your mom's going to hear it? Yeah. Oh I, was, I, I was on the phone with my mom. And you were telling about it oh, in the Uber. It's getting loud. <laughs> yeah, there is a lady, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, but in the... It sounds like Sims. I have, I'm going to confess something. Okay. I have not played that game <laughs> since I was a child. Really? Yeah, you did the rosebud 
whatever number and then you push put a CD case on top of the enter button and then you walk away, go make a snack and come back and then you have millions and millions of dollars. That's how Sims worked when I was little. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like a cheat code. Absolutely. Yeah. That is how it worked. Yeah, that's all I know know about. That's all I know about computer games. You know, when I was maybe like 13, 12, 13, they came up with this thing called Sims Hot Date. Whoa. Yeah, I played that a little bit. Did you Um, have your Sims bang a lot? No, I didn't know what that was then. Uh Oh. Um, So I just would. I mean, I went to Catholic school, so I don't. I still don't know how sex works. It's very confusing. That's why a lot of my writing. All I know now is that it works. (laughs) All I know (laughs) now is that. I don't know how. I don't question it. It It's just a yeah. It's just a mess, and we don't need to talk about it. We're nice, healthy, God-fearing no, women of God. We're basically we, nuns. We, 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 did I specify that I'm really not? Are you religious now? No. Not even a little bit? No. <gasps> oh, I'm hardcore agnostic. I have a lot of respect for faith. I've been in, in a lot of faiths, churches. I've uh, been baptized three different times, three different religions growing up. I was Jewish for a while. Baruch Atah Adonai. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom. My mom was very Jewish for a while. L'chaim. Catholic. Yeah. I was, um, uh, yeah, it was an interesting time. With Seventh-day Adventist, uh, quite a bit of it, where we couldn't wear jewelry or, like, makeup. And a Mennonite for a while, where we had to grow our own food, and our ankles and wrists had to be covered, and we had to wear bonnets. Your ankles and your wrists had to be covered, so you had to wear a bonnet. <laughs> It just depends on where our ankles and wrists were placed. It, got it, yes. If they were placed on our head, <laughs> then we could because when you there. Oh, I don't want to say. To cover it up. Yeah. 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 That but makes you were sense. Catholic mostly? I, I uh, was very, Growing very, up? very <laughs> Catholic. Nice. Uh, I went, I mean, my name is Mary Teresa. So yeah, that makes that. sense. I thought it might have been like a prank. Oh, no, that's real. Um, at least it wasn't Mary Catherine. I had so many Mary Catherines that were in the same grade as me when I was growing up. Yeah. Um, but I went to a Catholic K through eight school and then a Catholic <laughs> high school and then even a Catholic university. So yes. that was all I knew. Wow. And then I moved to Chicago. Was it a little shell shock? Yeah, man. Because, because, well... Where's the Lord? The Lord's not here. Exactly. Oh, that's scary. The, the Lord is in your heart was what it was all about, right? And I think and so he's in my booths. booths. I think he's in these booths right now. Both of them. Yeah. Which is where I keep my heart. That's nice. Behind both of them. Yeah. Both of your hearts in both of your booths. That's right. Got it. Good we only need one, though. Right, right, right. The other one's just a backup. Yeah. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. That's very nice to have that. Um, You're very nice to go along with my nonsense. I, I love it. I love sweet. it so much. Sweet. Oh, you're um, really uh, Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun yeah. thing. There's, um, listeners, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of awkward fidgeting going on. And there I have, is. I have literally, uh, like, plastered my arms to the table so that I would stop. Fi- like, I'm sitting very straight because I am d- trying to try not to fidget. What is I think it? you what? can fidget. Uh, but I'm afraid. Fidget your digits. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, all of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. I did my toes, too. You couldn't see that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them there. We're both wearing Converse-type shoes. Oh Minor knockoffs. Minor. <laughs> Whoa. I have always wanted Converse my entire life. And uh, let me tell you, I finally got them. Nice. Are you allowed to wear them in um, Catholic school? Is that what the problem? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't remember. There were weird There were uniforms? weird uniforms. Yeah, my first day going to class in real people clothes was my first day of college. Wow. So, like, I had uniforms forever. And, like, now that I'm an adult, I uh, am, like... Me too. Called. Mm-hmm. Called. Uh, I did. Mama. Yeah. Yeah, they can definitely hear yeah. us too. But I Sorry. don't think you're listening. Yeah. Um, but uh, I wish I had a uniform now. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, just because it would make every day easier. Yeah. So basically, so yeah. I, just I basically have a uniform. I basically wear a dress every day. And then that's one article of clothing I have to pick out a day. Oh my god, that's so smart. Yeah, dude. That's, that's great. Freaking fantastic. You know, see the shirt that I'm wearing? It was actually my aunt's. Um, she was throwing it out in the trash. And I said, I'll wear that shirt. Um, yeah, it's yeah. a cute shirt. It's a cute shirt. There's some hot pinks, some hot orange, and some hot yellows, and then some lips. Those those colors definitely go together on one, one oh, shirt. Oh, and there's some blue green under there. Do that again. Oh, I didn't even see that one either. Yeah. Look oh, look at that. Oh, that's oh, my God. This is a freaking rainbow. <laughs> I didn't even look at it when I put it on. So, the nickname for this well, sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> I also looked under my check arm. In, check in for pits. I was Those checking, are there, too. I checked my pits while we were at it. I mean, I thought I could do it subtly, but no. No. I mean, that's okay. I shaved today. Oh, dude, I did not. Ugh. I look like Elmo under there if I don't. That's cute. Yeah. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Elmo's pits. Oh. Elmo's. Emma's pants. pants. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Dorothy? That's <laughs> <laughs> gross. Anyway, swimming through pits. Um, so, so when did you start doing improv? You said it was like three years ago? So, I actually did improv all through college. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah. Where did you go to college? So, I went to St. Mary's University in Winona, oh, Minnesota. you were not done. No. You were like, mm-mm. <laughs> more, yeah. Yeah. more Catholic. And, and it was so... Did you think about doing uh, the convent? Uh, no, God. No, me either. But you know what's funny <laughs> is that when I was in high school, they... So, I went to an all-girls high school. Exciting. A Catholic high school run by... I would not have done well there. <laughs> and by that, I mean I would have cleaned up and would have gotten kicked out immediately. <laughs> I was a terror in the homeschool group, just kissing. I bet. Kissing the little homeschool girls. It was bad. <laughs> I got in trouble so many times. Oh. Uh, uh, do you in my defense, I look like a little boy. I do. I have an older sister. So you just kissed all your sisters? Ew, no. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. There was actually a homeschool group that I was a part of. And basically all we did was we got together like maybe once every couple weeks and all the boys kept themselves playing live action role play with like duct tape swords. LARPing. And then all the girls just like cried and wrote in our diaries about how we were going to make something of ourselves one day to make all of this hell worth it. Do you have these diaries? I do. I do. There's one from 2005. Um, it's a lot of, there's a lot of stab marks. You should do marks. a dramatic reading of it. I should. I bet it's hilarious. I have a crush on every boy and every girl. I actually found one of my notebooks from uh, I, I'm hoping it was middle school. See, I'm hoping that's it was how middle I think, school. And then I'm like, oh fuck, this was like two days ago. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Like this entry. Nope. I okay. When you wrote in your diary, did you used to do like, dear diary, I'm doing this thing right now. And then, oh, sorry, I forgot, I forgot to like actually get to the part that was somewhat weird. Um, but I used to be like, oh. I have to go get on the bus now, BRB. <gasps> yes. And then two inches later, I would start again. Well, I'm on the bus now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. I, I, I like, wanted to be a writer my whole life. That's great. But I did a terrible job of, like, pursuing it earlier. Yeah. Well, you were a kid. Yeah, but, like, I did, like, a really bad job of it, is I would, like, get a notebook and start writing in it, and then I would just... I would be more interested in the pens that I would use yeah. rather than yeah. the... Um, I would be interested in the characters and not so much their development. Oh, see, no, I wasn't even there yet. Ah. Yeah, no, I didn't even get to that. It would be like a... It's a girl. And then that was about as that's developed plenty. as it got. That's a great start. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how Fifty Shades of Grey started. It's and a girl? Like, you know what? I think I'm going to add a man in this. No offense to that lady. LJ, James. Can I admit something else to you? You love Fifty Shades of Grey, don't you? I've never experienced either the book or the... Oh my god, that's fantastic. Um, you know what other book I am just starting to experience right now? What's that? Is that um, I have never read or seen the movie for Gone Girl. And oh, it's I am fantastic. Don't tell me I anything. Won't. I want to spoil it. Don't I will not. tell me anything. Because I like, I didn't oh, think man. anything of it, but yeah, uh, the movie. I have not. Wonderful. So I know nothing about oh it. God. And oh I am, I'm about oh, halfway through, I think. And I, I mean, that can't be right because I still don't know what's happening. <laughs> but yes. I'm really, I'm starting to get inclinations of what I've could be happening. I've finished entire books and not known a thing that was going on. <sighs> well, you know, it happens. Hey. We're, we're finally alone, Emma. <laughs> I know, I know. It's going to get quiet Except now. Except I think there's somebody in that one. So oh. sorry, friend. Yeah. Um, Thanks um, for being quiet. I'm sorry that we're not. Yeah. Apologize. Sorry I'm not Different. quiet. Yeah. Yeah, we're just because we're women. We're yeah, supposed to be quiet. What? We keep to ourselves. Uh-uh. What? Yeah. Um, actually, that was why I uh, talked to you in that first class because I was like, Aww. dude, she's a kick-ass girl and we need Aww. more kick-ass girls in the comedy scene God, here. Thank and you. so I was like, I want to 
teach you about the CTA. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> and you did. I did because you I because you had walked and 45 I've now. minutes to yeah. this place. I still walk 45 minutes a lot, but I but I but know you how to do it. You found a better now. route because the first route that you told me about it was bad. The first route you told me about uh, was not Moody. was not a good route. Right. So yeah, that's not what I'm about anymore. About yes. route floutist clout that oh, that's a that's a word that's what we have from this episode a lot of cuz you got to have clout that's not the real words hey but we're the real words friends we are the i don't know i don't know where to go um youth of the nation youth of the nation that's <laughs> not what i thought <laughs> youth of nation <laughs> like when you kill animals <laughs> Or people. And you're the nation. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. I guess you can kill people too. I I don't remember. This no. you're the murderer. Not that's me. right. That's right. I guess I could. Um. Yeah. You know, I'm finding so many fascinating things out about you right now. Cool. I had no idea when we took that writing class together that you liked writing as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh man. No, that's great though. Have you ever? Um, is this your first experience? Like taking writing? Did you do writing in college? Was it literature based? So I. Did my degree is in musical theater performance and directing. Oh, fantastic. So that is what my life Wonderful. is. Wonderful. And when I was in college, I was in the improv. Here we go. Go back to improv. Yes. Um, I was in the improv team, on the improv team in college, and it was called Second Page. Okay. Um, and uh, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Oh like that gosh. kind of improv, it was short form, which in Chicago is not as common as common but that's what we got here that a lot of right at the second city uh no no so oh, okay. short form is a lot of like games oh quick stuff quick stuff that makes which sense. is like comedy sports have you been to a show at comedy sports yet no but okay. it's on my list I yeah. really want to go yeah you need to we're going to have to go to comedy sports maybe by the time again, by the time this comes out maybe I'll have had gone yeah have had gone yes Yes, um, you need to go see some of that because that was well. So that was what I did in college. Was I did a bunch of um, short form in college for all four years, and then I came to Chicago and I auditioned for two years for a musical theater, right? Nice. And I got a couple things, but not very much uh, because uh, I'm like, and I'm gonna tell you a secret. Ooh, I'm excited! Uh, and listeners, listen. I was listen up, I, I I was not very good. <laughs> oh God, that's not. That's no, but not it's, true. It's very true. It is no. very true. Uh, because I at what part? What do you think specifically? Because I didn't have confidence. Okay. I didn't know who uh, I. I didn't know I what I was good at and what I wasn't good at, and I was too scared to like rehearse anything. Oh my God! And so you know what, listeners? You know what you got to do is you got to keep practicing. Yeah. Even if you think you're good at something keep practicing at it and then right. you will get even better right. <laughs> but actually emma that is another thing that i really uh admire in you is that you uh you are see bad at things and i get i keep doing them yes that's exactly what i mean i've noticed that you are terrible yes. at everything and you just keep going oh and then God. eventually you're slightly less terrible thank you so uh, that's what i want on my headstone yeah i am slightly less terrible now yes emma when the you're terrible dead. got slightly less terrible from dying practice. Um, yeah, I think the world will have benefited at that, that point. Okay, yeah, yes. I think that's, uh, makes sense. Yes. But also, I <laughs> think that <laughs> when you're not being terrible, you are being a very driven person, oh, which is you. really, really cool. I think, um, I think Jeff talked about it in his episode with you. Like Uber? Right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, you are very driven by strangers Aww. in cars. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, to like just be like, I wanna, I wanna do a podcast, right. and so I'm just gonna talk to people and make them hap make that happen, make them happen. Hopefully, this makes me happen. Uh, you're just, you're just gonna if raise me to fame. That's okay. I would like, f I w if anybody on my show gets gets any modicum of success, I will. My heart will be so full. And modicum. Happy. Uh, Monica. Lewinsky. Yeah. Okay. If she gets to come on my show. <laughs> Ew. For you. Sorry. I don't want oh. her to come on anything. I'm okay. Thank you. With but that. no, it's not happening. You. But yeah, no. A modicum? Like a small a small amount? Like a bit? Hopefully a lot. But even a little bit. I'm so I happy. I like that. I, I just want everybody to be happy. In comedy, you call them bits. 
I just want to call them modicum now. My modicums, yes. Your modicums. Emma modicums. Emma mama. 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 Too, because you make people feel very comfortable immediately. Whoa. And you're, you're a very welcoming person. That's awesome. Like, I, you're, like you said, I just had come to Chicago. I didn't know anyone. I was kind of, um, like, you know, the little drabs when they're walking for the first time, like those first five minutes? Giraffes. That's how I felt. Yeah. Drabs. <laughs> drabs. Exactly. I know, I know. D R abs. Drabs. <laughs> just a beautiful, tall, majestic drab. <laughs> uh, just wobbling along through the second city on my. On my my which weak, is, which thin is really drab impressive leg. too, because the ceilings here are not always tall. <gasps> no, not high really up tall enough. Really. And you see my shoes. Yeah, I have seen those shoes. They are about uh, how many inches would you say that is? Um, I like to exaggerate how many inches it like is. Like eight. It's yes. It's approximately eight inches. Yes. Of uh of rubber, or right. would you call that rubber? Probably, or um. or just space dust. I like rubber. Okay, okay. I was I was trying to go more into the bit, okay, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, Emma, I can't do it. She's beautiful. She's doing beautifully. <laughs> um, yes, those are my giant platform shoes, and they uh, make me feel even more like a giraffe. Hell yeah. yeah! I have been this height since I was about twelve years old. Oh wow! So I have been a giant forever. No, no. How tall are you? I'm five eight, which is really not oh my that gosh, tall. That makes you more important. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I'm and pretty sure socially. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And what was funny when I was doing musical theater was that I would, um, I'm going to play with this hair that's in the, on the table. Do it. And you know it's not mine. I know. It's, it's, I think it's, I don't think it's mine either. So this is. Mine are as thick as a leprechaun's beard. Feeling gross playing with this. Mm -hmm. Also, leprechaun beards. Mm -hmm. Let's talk course. about those for a minute. Of course. Oh. Mm hmm <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> I feel like if we talk about them, then they'll appear, and then it's, it's a whole like mess. Bloody Have you Mary seen Leprechaun one or two or three two. or four or five or six? No, or seven? I think I've seen a thing. Eleven four. Leprechaun. Watch your There's elbow. There's so many. She just tried to put her elbow mm. on the table. And I was trying slipped. to look classy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, I didn't even realize I was doing what you were doing too. <laughs> you are. Oh. It's just mirroring. It it's is. Fine. We learned that. Oh no, we didn't. We would learn that in improv class. <gasps> should we get in a circle? I feel like we should. It's gonna be a small circle. A half circle. This our, is like an oval. Our, our hands are now in a circle. Oh, there we go. Under the table. Nice. I found oh, you. Oh, tip to tip. We're touching <laughs> fingertips in a circle, like the globe. Um, yes. That would be funnier if they could have seen what we just did. Yeah. Um, I'll show them with this commercial break. I'm working on my segues. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Joe here at Beef Jerk's Gym on Main. I just wanted to let you know about a new fitness training opportunity we got coming up. A passive aggressive self-defense course. Because it ain't legal to beat your wife anymore. Y'all don't get no, I'll been out of shape now because I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> okay, Mary Doctor. I'm going to need you to say Pish Tosh Podcast three times fast. <laughs> Pish Tosh Podcast, Pish Tosh Podcast, Pish Tosh Podcast, Pish Tosh Podcast. Oh my gosh, I said it a fourth well, you said time it and three it up. times perfectly. <laughs> and then a fourth time. Well, because I, I was trying to get cocky and then get, like. Oh, get like it. I can do it all the time. Pish As she was saying it, I was sticking all of my fingers in my mouth. It was, it was. Delightful. Central. Thank I'm you. <laughs> I thought we were going to go different ways with that, but we went. I th apparently it was good. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. I just wanted to say thank you for the first time right now. <laughs> for the first time. For the first time. Mary Teresa Doctor. That's me. I love your name. It sounds so made up. <laughs> Have you heard that before? <laughs> Have you ever heard that? No. I've yeah. heard that about my name. I said, you know, what they said, what's your name? And I said, it's Emma Rose. And they said, that's a dumb stage name. Why did you pick that one? That's so, like, corny. And I was like, that's... Thanks, mom. That's my what I was born with. Yeah, no. Uh, I would when I was doing auditions for musical theater, I would, I would go and be like, "Hi," I mean, you would, you slate, and so you say, "Hi, my name's Mary Doctor. I'm auditioning or whatever your I agent." I bet people is. don't yeah. know what slating is. Everybody. Yeah, that's why. So thank uh, you. Yeah, you say your name. It stuff? is a ty type of uh, metal, maybe. I don't know. No, it's a rock. <gasps> true. Slating is yeah. a, a slate is a rock. I bet the rock um, had a slate. I bet for he his did. Films. Dwayne Johnson. Yep, I had Bill crush on him. Oh, who didn't? Right? Oh my god. 
I can smell what he was cooking all day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Woo-hoo. if you're listening to this, Dwayne, I love you. I'll make tan I, babies with you. Big strong tan babies. Ba- oh, so oh. Uh, we're going to segue into dating just because you said tan babies. Because oh, uh, yeah. to our listeners, I don't know. Um, Have you dated a lot of tan babies? Yes. Ooh. Uh, then kiss big old man babies. <laughs> Let's hear about them. No, but I, so I am Polish and Irish and everything that's pale. I'm Polish and Irish and everything that's pale. Yeah. I'm as pale as the driven snow. And I'm as driven as the pale, pale snow. <laughs> 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 oh, oh God. Uh-huh. Uh, but I always joked about, uh, like the, the, like I didn't like dating white dudes. Not oh, they're ju- the worst. Not, I mean, white, du- white boys suck. But uh, mm-hmm. I always joked about, like, yeah, you know, I, I can't date white dudes because I, uh, I want my... You just blend in together? That, or, and I want my babies to have a chance of uh, having being a tan. Being the most beautiful babies? Being tan someday. That, too, oh, also. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to candy coat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Mixed race babies are the, the cutest babies. Yeah, I, I don't. Is that okay to say? I don't know if that's say? racist. I, don't, I know. don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't. But they're know. cuter than all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I think that's okay. I it's mean, it's okay. my opinion. How would I put it that way? Yeah. My opinion is that mixed race babies are the cutest babies. Yeah. I'm so sorry to my many of my nieces and nephews. I have none of those, so it's fine. So you don't have any mixed race nieces and nephews? Oh, I have mixed race cousins, though. Me too. And they are, oh my God, they are right? the most gorgeous. Christian, <sighs> Caitlin, and Cameron, if you yeah. guys ever listen to this, you guys, I am so proud yeah. to be your cousin because it's like I have supermodels. Exactly. For siblings. Yeah. Cousins. They are not my siblings. They are my cousins. Michelle, Amanda, Renee, Robert, Lena. Those are mine. That's great. I thought that you had fun named cousins, too, or nieces and nephews. Um, no. I give them fun names. They don't like them. Oh. But <laughs> it's fun for me and me alone. That's fantastic. Yeah, uh, yeah no, my brothers, uh, so I have two older brothers. And uh, if you think my name sounds fake, Ooh. just wait till you hear my brother's name. <laughs> oh, my God. God Doctor. <laughs> Is his name like Lucas God Doctor? Jesus Christ Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so my my brother's names are Tim and, and Timothy. Timothy, like first Timothy. Yeah, so Timothy and Thomas, but that means that their names are Tim and Tom. <gasps> Tommy and Timmy. And so that's what oh my that's God. what we yeah. And like my name was almost Tamra, so it would have been Timmy, Tommy, and Tammy. Oh my God! I think I used to have super <laughs> religious homeschooling books with characters named Timmy, Tommy, and Tammy. <laughs> oh my God! That would make sense. Although uh, I've never met a Tammy I don't like. Really? Yeah. I thought that that Tammy was right? people that you don't like. No, you'd think, but no. Oh. No. I don't think I've ever actually met a Tammy. I've met a Tamra. Well, if you could be so lucky. I, you're they're right. a blessing. You know you're right. Tammy, if you're listening to this. Do you have a... I have a couple Tammies. Whoa. And they're all close to my heart. Tammies. I, I'm sorry that I have misjudged you my whole life. I feel yeah. like the light is shining that's now right. I, don't, I was trying to say my eyes have been opened there we go that's what i yeah. we'll we'll fix that in post we've been right? in chicago for yeah. a while so i would think that they've been open for some uh, time now yeah uh my first time uh in chicago was when i was um eight years old really i came into the city with my mother and we went to the american girl doll store <gasps> oh wonderful and she said uh, mary we're in chicago what do you want for lunch like the, we're in the entire city of chicago what do you want to do oh. and i saw a hot dog stand <gasps> and i said Ooh. i want that i want a hot dog and so we went to this place that's called downtown dogs it is still in chicago um and we were sitting there and we were eating our hot dogs in the window, and then this uh, fancy lady in a fur coat Ooh. walked by, and she was smoking a cigarette. Was and it Gorilla Deville? No, but close. Glenn close? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she was smoking a cigarette, and she dropped it because she was done with it, right? And I'm just eating my hot dog, eating my hot dog, and then I see a homeless man walk by and pick up that cigarette and walk away smoking her cigarette. So that was my first experience of Chicago. That's going to go on the bingo card. <laughs> that sounds like perfect bingo material, is see a homeless man pick up a cigarette. Of Cruella de Vils. Of Cruella de Vils. Yes. Dear, dear, dear. Yep. Da, 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 da. I just started humming, give me a break, instead of They're very Cruella similar. Yeah. If she doesn't scare you, 
Break me off, please. I can't get by. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh my God. You know what? I think we were very similar children because you were going to the American Girl doll and you were noticing fancy women in fur coats. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> I'm really excited for what you're yeah. about to say. Oh my God. <laughs> I think my first. The, and I don't even remember it. I don't remember childhood. But there was a, there's a picture that I've seen, and it's of this little red-headed boy. It looks like a little bowl-cutted midget. Are you the boy? I am. Okay, sorry. I'm the man going. now. Cor Thank yes, you. Yes, you are correct. I'm a man. Correct. You um, and a man, that's Emma. Right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and um, so in this picture, I'm wearing my brother's. I'm probably like five, and I'm wearing my brother's T-shirt, which he was. Oh, he's older than me still now. Even. Whoa, really? Yeah, it's weird. Wow. I just I keep trying to catch up, and I never do. Interesting. And, um, well, good luck. You know what? You don't give up. Thank you. I'm gonna keep trying. Thank I mean, there's only one way. Um, oh God, that's terrible. Oh, God. Just kidding. No, Come don't. On. No, thank back. you. I love my brothers. Anyway, um, so I'm wearing this T-shirt, and it's just like this black Chicago Bulls T-shirt, and it's like got holes and stains, and it looks like I look like a homeless child, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the family is standing together, and I'm just over there. I was like the Joe Dirt of my family. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just Did kidding. Did you have a mullet? No, you said you had a bowl cut. I had a bowl cut, yeah. 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 For a long time. Uh, I did not. Yeah. I had two brothers that had bowl cuts, and my mom cut my hair, but it because I was the girl and the princess that I always had long hair. Oh, my God. I was like so. the kid with the, like, perpetually snotty nose with the naked doll. Like, the naked baby Hell doll. yeah. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of my dolls was named Tommy. Um... And I would actually name all my dolls Tommy or Timmy. I'm not, I'm not even making this up. That's There's weird. a stepdad out there. He's not mine anymore, but he was. I've had a lot of stepdads. Uh -huh. um, some of them fine. Some of them were terrible. And one of them, uh, I had a, um, a baby doll named, and uh, I got this baby doll. And then he goes, what are you going to name it, Tommy? And I go, no, it's not Tommy. And then that baby doll was not Tommy for like two years. I mean, that, like, not Tommy. Yeah, not yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Hey, not Tommy, come over here and exactly. pick up your toys. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's I get stuck. that. When I was little, I was given, I was gifted a baby doll, and she was cool and whatever, and she came with, um, like, uh, accessories. I love that we're, like, breaking the glass ceiling right now on women. <laughs> like, we're just like, what are you wearing? What kind of baby dolls? What kind of guys do you date? Oh, women are oh, awesome. Oh, no. This is bad. Uh, I, like, but it's not bad because it is what we are. Like, yeah. I think that it's... Tampons? Tampons? <laughs> we were talking about tampons. Mary said a swear. Oh, I tried to say that, but I spit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you I'm did. sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm so glad uh, these are just listeners mostly and it's just one on one. Like, only one person has to experience, like, how gross I am. You, at I a think time. you're lovely. I think that. Well, thank you. Uh, embrace all of your weirdness. I mean, you do. Thank you embrace you. it very well. But I also think that. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to take a drink now and I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, have a genuine, like. <laughs> it's a beautiful like, moment. Heartfelt moment. Please, true. <laughs> Um, she just it's put getting the entire weirder. frappuccino bottle Don't in Don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it gets weirder. This is me, like, tamping it down to, like, 5%. Stop with the tampons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tamping it down. Is that a real word? Uh, tamp it down? Emma, I feel like you keep using words that I don't... I'm a librarian. Uh, I know. If I know anything, it's words. What? I feel like uh, the longer we speak, the more I'm going to speak like you. Uh, that happens to me with everyone. <laughs> uh, if I talk to someone that has an accent, I tend to mimic their I accent. like your accent. I don't know what it is. It's a little Midwestern. It's, mid it's Midwestern, and I, because I lived in Minnesota, that comes in. But that's just because I made fun bit. of people when I lived I in Minnesota. Did, I made the same mistake in North Carolina, man. Making fun like, of people? Yes. It's rude to me. Emma, you should never make fun of people. It's rude. Right. Don't no. do that. Uh, never again. Uh, ne never, never again. Never again. <laughs> never again. <laughs> I ain't gonna start and I ain't gonna do it no more. Uh, when I was in college, I was I studied abroad in London and oh, I did a... Wonderful. It was amazing. It's the whole reason why I chose my university. Wow. Because they, you had to go to London. Nice. And that was amazing. So we went to... You had to go to London? Yeah. That was like, oh my God, that's a prerequisite like to, to graduate. To graduate with the major that I was had. Oh my you god. You had to go to a semester in London. That's amazing. So, yeah, it was it was fantastic. And so uh, I was 
doing a show in London, but the show was set in Texas. And I was there with a bunch of Minnesotans. Oh my god! And that's so, so confusing. my accent was everywhere. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's it was fantastic. One word would be in, and so and yeah, and so like the the school that we were going to was um, like there were a bunch of people that had so many different Excuse kinds me. of English accents there, and so then I would like mimic their accents while doing my Minnesotan while I'm from Chicagoland area, and then doing the. Uh, Bertha Bue Miller was my character's name. Oh I don't know how goodness. I don't know how good that accent is anymore because I'm subconscious because you're actually from the south. Oh so no no you I can don't yeah, mean rail to. on them. I don't. Hey, did you just show your ass? I just learned that that's not a common <laughs> phrase up here. Show your ass? Yeah, have you ever heard that? No. Oh, I hope I have some I North Carolina people. I thought you were talking about my butt. Through. No, no. It's kind of like putting your foot in your mouth. Oh. But like, oh man, I went out to that party and I really showed my ass. And oh. it's like when you kind of make a fool of yourself. Yeah. I, I just learned that that's not so common up here. Nope, nope. Never yep. heard that one before. God, I'm going to show my ass all around this city. Okay, you might get um, in trouble. Have me say them. Okay. Well, I absolutely should. Fine. I should that's get fine. in trouble. Also, watch out for sunburn. Oh, that's a good point. That's even scarier. Yeah. Oh, that demon. My demon butt in cheeks the sky. have never seen the sun. Ooh. And so I would be afraid of have that. Have they looked? They've they've tried a few times, but I. <laughs> Something's peeking. I can't. <laughs> 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 oh man So segue uh, I'm just going to say the word segue Instead yeah. of actually What about singing segue. chimpanzee riding on a segue Chimpanzee riding on a segue Chimpanzee riding on a segue bam, 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 bam. <laughs> And wow, then there's <laughs> <laughs> Actually I was just coughing <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that YouTube video though? That was no. like Okay, of well, a chimpanzee riding on a segue? Yeah, and that's the song that plays through the whole video. Oh my video. god. Uh, yeah. I'm watching that as soon as we're finished up here. Good. I was just thinking about it. Um, we should probably wrap up so I can watch this video. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Because I have more questions. What was the first performance that you did ever? Um, I was in The Music Man when I was... In the play or yes. in the man? I was in... That's inappropriate. Um, <laughs> I was in uh, my high school when I was... I, in the high school in town, right? The Catholic high school that was in town. They were putting on a performance of uh, The Music Man. And that musical I had seen a million bajillion oh, times. I've never seen it. Well, let me tell you, the most important to. character in that musical... Married. Better. Oh, her name was Amaryllis. Oh, what a great name. Mm-hmm. And she, in the movie, had bangs and long braids, right? So I showed up to the audition with my brown hair and bangs and long braids. Oh, my braids. God. You were ready. And I was so, so... I looked like Molly McIntyre. If you know what uh, American Girl Dolls, I looked like Molly McIntyre. I anyway, know what you're talking about now. Yes. I also looked like Amaryllis. So I showed up to this audition, right? And I have seen this movie forwards and backwards, which is weird, but you watch it in when you Reverse. had to rewind movies. Like you yeah. would watch it that way, right? Um, anyway. Perfect. VHS throwback. Yes. Uh, it's so Thursday. Throwback Thursday. That's right. To VHS tapes. Um, I was ready for this audition. I had memorized every single line. Oh. But I got up there and was doing my cold read where I was like doing the reading yeah. and they handed me a script and I was really bad at reading oh, and so no. I've had trouble with reading too I don't believe you you're a librarian yeah but I, I just kind of skirted the line I actually graduated without ever having learned to read that's fantastic I know Bravo. I'm improv that's why I was like I'm in the wrong business yeah that's why you got to be here mm -hmm. now yeah now I'm a professional bullshitter uh, professionally don't tell anyone I will nope Ruin my whole facade. Get your butt out. What is it? Ass out? Uh, showing my ass. Showing your ass. Yep. <laughs> 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 did you see? Did you see Derek last night at the bonfire at the pig picking? He really showed his ass. <laughs> this is context. Got it. Got it. I'm like right. I don't know who we're talking who about. Who is that? But I'm on board. Um, but in conclusion, with this audition, I got up there. That must have been terrifying. And I was, was probably your first audition? seven years old. Oh my gosh. You were just in high school? It was at the high school, but they needed a oh, kid to play this role. I was thinking, I don't have a great grasp on the grades oh, and the yeah, high school, yeah, yeah. school thing. No, no, no. You go to high school when you're like 14, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so I was seven, and I got up on this beautiful new stage, and 
they handed me a script and uh, the Marion, the librarian, said her line yeah. to me uh-huh. and I just stood there and cried because I couldn't read. And so I stood there oh and I gosh. cried and so then my mom had to come and take me off the stage. <gasps> Oh. And then we went into the hallway, and um, and I know I my mother is a very very sweet, loving stage mom, fantastic woman. But I remember this <laughs> in a very negative light because I was so embarrassed. Oh, this was, oh, and so I remember her pulling like. me out into the hallway and her saying, "Mary, they wanted to give you the role. You know all of the lines. Why didn't you just say the lines?" Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I had to read it. And she's like, "No, you didn't, you Mary. Didn't have you to read, read them." Oh my and so god! And so it's just, I was just. It, oh, Mary, so to read the doctor. Mary, to read the doctor. You get oh back up god. there and you say those lines. You know that. Movie. <laughs> um, but in conclusion, uh, one of my best friends got the part instead of me. So you, so I broke was in the. Her leg. Yes, and I was in the chorus. Oh, that's great! Yeah, that's I mean, even was, better. And yeah. then you have a friendship still. Yeah, we d- we did have a friendship. That's wonderful for a um, number of years. Actually, I let me tell you about that friendship because it's super cute. I'm excited. So. Her mom and my mom were friends, and then they would, like, have big parties together, right? So they would, like, all the families would get together and, like, watch the Super Bowl every year. The Super Bowl party was the big party, okay? Oh, that's so cool. So, uh... This was in Minnesota? No, this was here. Okay. Well, in Aurora. Way west in Aurora. Oh, Um, oh, So we (laughs) we would all get together, like, all the families would get together to watch the Super Bowl. But she and I, her name was Justine, Justine and I would call each other and be like, what baby dolls are you bringing? Because if you're bringing this baby doll, I will bring this one. And so we always had to match. So, like, if she oh, was bringing... adorable. If she was bringing two Beanie Babies, like, I had to bring two of them. Oh, my So gosh. it was, like, it was that kind of a thing, right? That's and so, so then, kind of cute, but, like, she... Uh, now we're older. Yeah. We are, like, uh, adults, and, like, she's married, yeah. and she got pregnant. And I, like, jokingly was like, no, I'm sorry, you can't get pregnant yet because... I'm not getting pregnant yet, and you can't have a baby without me. And but like now that sounds really weird coming out of my mouth. Um, Did she take but, care? Uh, of that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, um, eat your I didn't words. say anything. Eat your words. You, the I, cough came I up because you my were ass. talking. About, there you go. You that was a good example. You did. Yeah. But um, in conclusion, she has a beautiful little baby girl now, and That's I great. Um, am still barren. I'm not barren. I just don't have any kids. <laughs> so see, you just showed your ass too. <laughs> We've all shown our asses. Oh my god! That's you heard anyway. it here first. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So that's uh, that's that. No, I also don't have kids. Oh, congratulations! Thank you, thank yes. you. I know. It's I'm expecting to not have any anytime soon. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there should be a book about that. Yeah. What to expect when you're when not you expecting any much at all? Anything. Low low expectations. Yeah. That'll be the book. Low expectations. <gasps> like the dating. Uh, videos from SNL. Oh, that's funny. Is Lower that the th- expectations? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's back in the day. A little throwback. I love that. Throwback Thursday some more. Yeah. So throwback Thursday too. When you were seven, yes, and you were in the chorus of the Music Man, which mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna watch now. And that's where Mary and the Librarian is from. Yeah. I my dad calls me that all the time, and I just assume that he forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> the, so that was your first time. Did you have like? Do you have like? influences in theater and acting like do you have like a person or a group that you're like that's who I want to be like that's who I want to emulate so I am very uh uh I really love like I grew up with golden age musicals and so what golden age musicals are is they're like the the big showy ones like Oklahoma and like the ones that have been done a million times right that like you don't want to go see it one more time because it's gonna fucking suck Fiddler on the Roof Fiddler on the Roof I've been in twice oh and Music Man I have been in four (gasps) times oh my god (laughs) do you know how many total performances you've done as far as theater no idea no idea oh my god that many yeah uh, when I was, yeah, I mean, I've been performing since I was seven years old. Wow! And yeah, so it's so, just, so that's a few years. That's, I mean, just a, just a just a, just a lot. Yeah, yeah, not a lot. Okay. No, I'm not gonna ask you your age. It's okay. I'm older than you. Found that out. With no, your last you're episode. not. I would have never get. Well, I smoked a lot of cigarettes <laughs> for a long time, so I, I look older than I am. I 
tried to smoke one cigarette once uh-huh. and um a friend and it wasn't that i was like try like it wasn't like i was like i'm gonna try this it was like we were at a party in college and somebody just like was like here do you want some and i was like oh, okay i'll you try some. this cigarette yeah exactly exactly uh yes and uh one of my one, uh, this dude that i was in class with uh when i was in college he is a smoker for sure and he saw me grab that and like take one it's not a hit when it's a cigarette it's a you pull. can call it whatever it's you a, want. okay so I, I i took a drag that's what it's yep. called of the cigarette and he ripped it out of my mouth <gasps> and pulled me into the house and was like i never want to <gasps> see you smoke oh my a cigarette ever again and i was like okay i won't oh, uh, was that friend <laughs> jesus christ our lord and savior no he was actually a dick but oh, okay. um he, jesus was or the guy that saved you from the, the cigarette? guy that saved me from the cigarette oh man yeah i've I never actually met that. jesus before but i've heard me that either. he does great things I've heard that. Great and powerful things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And he's ripped. I mean, when I've seen him, especially Catholic Jesus with the abs and everything. Dude, you should hear my friend Tyler Fowler's uh, Catholic stand-up. He's <gasps> real good at it. Oh, my God. He oh, does. speaking of stand-up. <laughs> 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 I was hoping we would get here. Have you done some stand-up in um, your life? So, I, oh. I did. Oh. So, I would not say that it was... Uh, very good at oh, all. Oh man, I would um, love to be a fly on the wall. Uh, or better yet, a person in the crowd. Don't worry, I have recordings. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that is, there. I have so much homework after this. There's I'm seeing so that chimp riding that Segway, and I'm watching some stand up from some Mary Physician doctor. So, Mary PhD. Physician. Yes, Mary PhD. Actually, my initials are MD, which is funny. <gasps> <laughs> so mine are ER. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. That's awesome. Um, so. You've done stand up in Chicago? Yeah. That's intimidating. Yeah. I've actually, yeah. So, so I. Open mics or? Yes. Yeah, so it was just open mics. But I, um. So I, I was going through, I was going through a very bad breakup. That's and the best time to write stand-up. Exactly. And so I was going through a really bad breakup, and I was super sad, and I didn't know how to get over it, and so right. I just started making fun of it. Yes. And I was like, what's a better way to make fun of yourself than to do it in front of a bunch of strangers? <gasps> right. So right. I wrote a bunch of jokes and I about myself, Yeah. and um, I got up in front <laughs> of uh, a bunch of white dudes with beards at bars Ooh, because fun. of because that's the stand-up scene in and Chicago. And they can relate. Mm-hmm. And yeah, to so a I, young lady I, I going talked about a bad exactly that That's was so hard. If I was there, I probably would have laughed my face off. I don't think you would have, dude. I was really not good. I was really not good. But what I did instead was because I knew that I wasn't good at that. And it was like, Mary, what are you good at? And it's you are good at doing funny songs. So why don't you do that instead? Hell so. yeah! That's wonderful! <laughs> yeah, but the downside with that is that I'm not good at like writing the music part, I'm just good no, at writing here. the lyrics part. So what I had to do was I had to find songs that I could just spoof and change oh the lyrics gosh. out. So, I yeah. am so excited <laughs> to hear some of these! Yeah, right here, right now? No. C- can you? <laughs> oh my god! That would be fantastic! Do you feel like whipping it out? Or is this too- I mean, I want to put you on the spot. Well, okay, so when I was writing... Like background. Yeah, you can. Okay, okay. Um, or even some titles, and then if you so choose, I don't want to, you know, yeah. is it mull it over. Okay, mulling, mulling, mulling. Okay, so when <laughs> when I was writing these uh, songs, I was like, what is what is very me? what songs are kind of really me yes. and I was like well I, gr- I was a Disney kid right so I grew up doing a bunch of Disney like n- I knew all Disney songs that were ever written ever and oh, so yeah. I was like I'm okay so where this is going. what can I do with Disney songs and so then I started thinking about like what my stand-up was was it, it was a lot of like making fun of me and the way that I like grieve grieve yeah that yeah. was one thing but it was also like um self-deprecating but it was like I, I am con- I am one of the ladies that is confident in the way that I look. In a, well, you a should lot be. You're ways. really, really pretty. Damn and I had to like things. not say anything more derogatory or objectifying. That's okay. But you are you are very beautiful. I really appreciate that. It has taken me years to be okay with that, but I, I am okay with that. It's the truth. I can't look you in the eye for a little bit, but well, you're very it. beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, her eyes are beautiful too. She's got beautiful two two beautiful eyes. And a chip in my tooth. 
but that's okay. What? It happens. Were you eating chips? No, no, no. Like, I, like I got, I was drinking a Boone's Farm, and I hit it into my tooth when oh, I was in no, college. Oh no! Sorry, <laughs> I didn't even realize. No, I you see my front teeth? teeth? How do they look? They real, real beautiful. They are fake. Fuck yeah! These two front ones. They look very real. Thanks. I bought them last year. Damn. I'm not even joking. I, I did. That's awesome. I did. I had to buy them. <laughs> yeah, I ruined my old ones. It's called Mountain Dew Mouth. Mountain Dew. It's mouth? real popular in the south. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, it's a long story. It'll be in the book. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Um, I'll show you a real disgusting picture later. Wow. That'll be your homework. <laughs> of, of, of what? Anyway, okay, we're moving on. Emma looked very differently before she got to Chicago. It was like, um, what's that? She's all that? It was like that. Like, I, but like, they're just like, you're kind of nerdy and we're going to take your hair down and take your glasses off. But mine was like, it was scary before. And now. I don't Do you think that. I look like a person now? You, yes, very much so. Cool. I think you're real cute, Emma. They did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I want to hear your I wish the viewers could have uh. seen that. And by viewers, I mean listeners. Yeah, have seen that <laughs> the face. viewers would have done a great job viewing that. The <laughs> listeners, not so much. <laughs> They're not so good at viewing. Um, yeah, well, I, mean, I love you, know, you guys. You know what, listeners? Uh, you have some shit to work on. Yeah, okay, work on so you get homework skills. now, too. Yep. Speaking of deprecating, uh, you don't hear um, other deprecating very often. You hear self-deprecating a lot, but you... Like, oh, let's, yeah. we just deprecated the listeners. Yeah. yeah. Is sorry. that how you would use that word? I don't know. Uh, De- you're the deprecation. one. Deprecation. The breathing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> nice. Oh, so you're a musical improv. That was a great proof. Oh, a spoof. Yeah. Segue. I spoofed my own segue. Poofed. <laughs> That was supposed to be a segue, but chimpanzee on a segue. What was it? Chimpanzee riding on a segue. Oh, there we go. Chimpanzee riding on a segue. <laughs> that chimpanzee was close. Riding on a segue. <laughs> <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that actually works so well, and I'm so glad that you had it. And I hope that that's at the end of the video, and I just forget that part. Oh of it. my god, that's great. You okay, did a great job. Thank you. You did a great job. I couldn't have segued without you. Wow. So. Let's hear some more about this um, Disney. So spoof. my my Disney spoof, which is real sad because I can't actually ever perform it oh. for like an audience because it's Disney and Disney is so copyrighted. That's right. That's right. But we probably I, shouldn't publish anything in any way, shape, or form. Come at me, Walt. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, bra. What, Walt bra is, Disney. Walt is dead. What? <gasps> Come at me, ghost of Walt Disney. Ooh, I hope Ooh. so. Except that I heard that he was anti-Semitic. Wasn't he like real racist and uh, against Jews? Um, you know what? We'll look up that fact, but I'm stay pretty to sure yourself, <laughs> Ghost yeah. of Walt Disney. You just keep it to yourself. Yeah. We don't we don't have time for it. We don't have room for it. And also, I keep talking to my phone as if the yeah, phone is Walt not, Disney. <laughs> that's not the that's not yeah. where the mic is either. Oh God, you're right. Ah, oh, God, I it's God, really forget. It's in my booth. Boop. <laughs> we just stared stared at our booths. Yeah, that happens. Uh, I just got new brawls, <gasps> and I'm very oh happy gosh. about them. I have a picture that I can show you. Um, it's not as bad as it's going to sound, but I broke my bra today at work. Mm-hmm. It's a zip in the front bra. <gasps> yes. And uh, sometimes it, it unzips it on its Does own. Does it ever pinch your tum-tum? Sometimes. Like if you, like, hunch? Yeah, but I like it. Okay. <gasps> um, I don't like my tum-tum pinch. So. I do. <laughs> 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 Good to know, though. I'm glad you told me. Yeah. <laughs> There's a special part after the show. Um, I told Cody and, and Jeff and Jack, and <laughs> they, I told them not to tell anyone. Um, oh, God. I threatened them. Is this pinching bellies? I, it's after the Tom-toms? show. After the show. It's later. It's oh. later. We don't tell anyone, though. Um, shh, shh. But anyway, the bra. <laughs> Im- Tish. Pish. Pish-tosh. Pish Tosh podcast after dark. That's right. Actually, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I keep going back and forth. So the bra, yeah, I'm not even joking. I have the picture from today. It broke. It just popped open. But see, you know, I said that I had gained some weight and I was not kidding. None of my bras really fit. And this is, I'm wearing another one of Mama Sprinkles bras right now. Mama Sprinkles. I'll have to show you one day. Yeah. This is my friend's grandma. I was getting rid of some bras because they were too small for it. And now they're getting too small for me. Wow. Oh my god! I wish that I could be so well endowed with some fa- with some fatties, with some mama sprinkled bras. Oh yeah, those are great. Yeah, 
<laughs> like my fat naturals. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna stop talking about my boobs. This is gross. I'll uh, just show you later. Okay. So <laughs> you were saying, um, this is great too because I want to end on this like Disney stuff, and we've just we've just strung everyone along this far, and it's just a little longer. No, I'm ready. Okay, I think I'm ready. Tell so, me about this. So, yes. So, I just spoofed a bunch of Disney songs uh, to be about what drunk girls think about. Mm-hmm. And so, I, it's, I've written this show where it, like, walks you through a bunch of girls that are going out for it. So, it, like, starts with them getting ready in the mirror, and then uh, it goes on their walk to the bar, and then blah, 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 blah. But basically, it's doing this all through Disney songs that are spoofs. So, like, there's... Um, uh, oh, now I'm nervous. <laughs> Not that song. Oh, oh but okay. it's very under very my knees. <laughs> <laughs> there, I watched. I was at a drag show one time, and it was a drag queen that sang a song that was called "Under the D," and it was all about under wieners. <gasps> That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. It was super oh funny. Gosh. It was super funny. I can show you the whore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, what is the other one? <laughs> okay, now you go. Uh, 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 I'm really putting you on the spot here. I, know, I didn't that is, prepare that you is, for this. That is really on the spot. Uh, d- uh, the, 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 the classic. Someday my drinks will come. <laughs> and the, that one's one of them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's right. Oh my gosh. You're standing at the bar waiting for drinks. So that's, that's right. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's get down to business. Dude. Touch some buns. Some buns. Ooh, yes. I like that. That oh. one I have not written yet. And my dating fathers. When I ask. <laughs> my <laughs> sense. You know that's what? gross. That's okay. Oh my god. I don't think it's gross. I mean, dads are fine. Kids are uh, not kids. Goddamn. Sons. Yeah. Sons are good. Not kids. Dads don't at kids. one time were sons. Still are, probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Unless their parents are deceased. But then they're still Thank sons. You. Thanks for bringing this um, back. Yeah. They could have moms. Probably. And there should be sons of those moms. Yeah. Or they could uh, be assholes and they're sons of bitches. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh, I don't want to date them. Nice. No, but they're no. fun to... <laughs> I was going to say... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Mary, we have gone after dark now. This is one of my first, like, late night podcasts coming at you. Thirsty Thursday. Uh, <laughs> oh I promise this is straight vodka this in here. So. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Hi ho. Hi ho. <laughs> <It's a laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. man. Do we have any more? Are we out? Have we loved um, this? Yeah. I mean, your songs are better than the ones that <laughs> I took two <laughs> no. years to write. Oh, so my God. <laughs> no, this is fantastic. I'm just enjoying this so much. It's such a good premise. I loved your skits throughout our entire writing class. <gasps> so and that's, everyone did. That's, uh, I heard you you and Sam oh talk about God. that sketch, and it meant so much to me. Something that I found out you with You haven't heard it yet, but Jack and I even talked about oh, it, too. Really? Like, it made <laughs> such an impact on every classmate there. Oh my god. That's so great. We loved it. Um, yeah, no, I found out that um, when it comes to writing, the things that I am best at writing are the things that are very sexual in nature, but I try oh to god. make them not sexual, yes. but I make them very sexual when that happens. Yes. Oh and my god, I was so uncomfortable the first, like, four minutes, because <laughs> I was like, am I just assuming that this is a porno, <laughs> and everyone else knows that it's not? And then I realized, no. It's a porno. It's a porno. It was the best. And then you kind of get comfortable. Yeah. Then you kind of settle in. Yeah, because I did... This is great. Because originally how I I had written it it was it was just... Okay, so, listener. Um, I wrote a sketch that was a... We were doing a parody sketch, and so I wrote a sketch about parodying pornos. And I called it um, the, the films that shaped our youth. The reason why I named it that was because I knew that our teacher was going to read it out loud before the sketch happened, and I didn't want to tell people that it was a porno Mm -hmm. spoof. And so I wrote it that way, but it sounds so bad when you write it that way. (laughs) But like she was was pretty appalled by it. The teacher? Yeah, because the first thing that she said afterwards was, uh, I don't know what your youth was like, or like she (gasps) said something like that. Yeah, no, that's the thing. We don't know. You know, they don't understand. I actually did some private browsing today. Yeah? Yeah. 
I mean, it's a very big part of my life. But I, 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 I always want to say, like, are you, I'm are so you the one at in the library looking at porn, making those weird noises? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. No, I mean, I even thought about like doing a reference section and correction, uh, and and saying like. Oh, I don't watch porn or something. But then I'm like, no, I'm tired of being ashamed. I'm a woman and I enjoy pornography. This is so difficult for me right now to even admit. But no, I mean, I... It's Especially because we're yeah. talking to all your friends and fam. Absolutely. My mom's <laughs> going to hear this and everything. And she tried so hard. She's like, stop playing, playing with yourself, Emma. And I was like, no. I was a teacher for a little bit. I taught at I didn't a, know that. Yes. But I, it wasn't like I... Did, it wasn't I went to school for education I was a theater teacher so like I was still a teacher but like not like a teacher teacher yeah anyway um I was working in Boulder Colorado and I uh had a group of kids and they were about um I had the four through six year olds and we had nap time every day it was a half an hour that they had to lay down and they had to have a nap and there was this little girl that would always put out her sleeping bag and then lay face down with her hands, like, on top of her hands, and her legs would bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, no. And then they would go calm for the rest of the half an hour. <laughs> I bet she slept like a rock. <gasps> yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm just jealous. I wish no. that I would have found it earlier. No, I did not. It w I was definitely, it was late in life that I even went near there. I'm being totally honest. Like, I thought if I touched anything down there, I was going straight to hell. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously Like, 100%. You were. You I are. are definitely well. Then I'm deep in hell by now. <laughs> it's hot and I'm happy. The um, no, I was thinking about it actually a lot last night and this morning and this afternoon. <laughs> Real quick, just thought about it for a minute. And I was thinking, I was thinking, if there is a God, like this is His gift to us. You know, like, uh, I'm going to be real blunt. Masturbation. I feel like that's his yeah. gift to us. I'm not even being, like, gross right now. I'm not trying to be. I'm just being totally honest. Because, like, I don't know about you, but I get, I'm, like, I have an addictive personality. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, you get addicted to alcohol or drugs or stuff like this. Or I do. And, and you're, like, these are, like, bad things. They make you feel really good. And this is, like, a... This is a I'm thing tired of thinking this is a bad thing. Yeah, it's not it's a, a bad thing. A thing that is actually healthy yeah, it for It doesn't you. hurt me. It doesn't hurt anyone else. And those are my two rules. You don't hurt yourself. You don't hurt anyone else. Yeah. So, I mean, unless you're too rough on yourself or if you have a medical injury of some sort. So then yeah. Or if you do it in the library too loud. I mean, at all. Too loud. Too loud. Yeah. Yes. Headphones. You know, I work at a library. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fired. I'm glad this isn't coming out for a few weeks. I need a couple more paychecks before <laughs> before they let me go. That's okay. Man, uh, this has been so great. I feel like I feel like I'm so happy to have a woman on the show. And obviously, I love my male friends, and you know, my white male friends. They're fine. They're fine. And um, uh, but this has been something very special, and I've really enjoyed it. And I'm really glad that we are ending our lady night talking about masturbating. <gasps> Me too. And yeah. how great and normal it is. And yeah. I feel like I, a lot of girls that I grew up with, and um, like teen even as teenagers, late young adults and everything, were just thought it was the most disgusting thing in the world. And yeah. I'm like, it's your body. If you yeah. can't touch your body, no one can. Or, you know, it's like yeah. you're going to let your boyfriend or your husband touch your or body. Or even worse, enjoy you your body. won't. Yes. Like, if you're not comfortable with it, you won't let someone else right. do it. And therefore, you never get to oh. bond with someone in that in way. In that intimate connection yeah. that you Which deserve. I think is a very, very important I think so bond too. to have with someone. Oh, I hope, I hope somebody comes away with having learned that their body is something to be celebrated. Your body is beautiful. And it's a wonderland. <laughs> it doesn't work as well with that song. It doesn't fit at the end. Oh man, we tried. Okay, I think that's a good, that's a good time. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so this much. This has been really great, man. I am a lady. Thank you. This has been really great, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, doctor. Oh man. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm very excited to leave now. What? Oh, uh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, no, yeah, no. We're uh, all moving let's, on. Let's see how long we can get this ent exit going. Well, actually, I've got AA in, in about uh, six minutes. Then let's get get the. I gotta get to a here. meeting. It's yeah. not far though. Okay. Uh, it's been what? wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me three minutes for private browsing. <laughs>
<laughs> you have this whole booth to yourself. That's right. I that's can right. leave. Right Skedaddle. Now. I'm going <laughs> to look up some chimpanzees. Ch- chimpanzees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay, I'm not ashamed of masturbating. I might probably, there's some shame of, I guess, what I masturbate to. But again, no one's getting hurt. No one's getting hurt, and you are supporting different things in the industry, right? Right, right. Vague, right. vague things. Anyway, thank you. Oh, see, we should have ended like five minutes ago. Now I'm even more embarrassed. I wasn't I even bet embarrassed you could, there like, for edit a minute. It. Yeah, you know what? You'd think. <laughs> You think I could at this point? <laughs> no, I'm terrible. Okay, okay. Uh, bye. Bye. So long. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen. Adieu. 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 To Emma. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got a song out of you before the end of the day. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, just hit the button. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Reference section and corrections. Well, I had a lovely time talking to my friend Mary Doctor, and I hope you guys enjoy listening. I'd like to elaborate on some things and make some corrections at this point. Uh, I went and saw our show with her improv group Conscious Pontius last Sunday, and it was fantastic. If you're in the Chicago area and would like to see Conscious Pontius, they will be at the Comedy Clubhouse on Ashland. This Saturday, August 10th at 9 p.m. We also talked about uh, Las Tinas, which is another improv group in Chicago. Unfortunately, we missed their shows last Saturday, but you can follow them on Facebook to find uh, their next shows and keep up with them at Las Tinas Improv. Mary and I, our soap opera, The Doctor and the Rose, uh, would be called El Doctor y la Rosa. Just footnote. Uh, I tried a dollop of taco, and I tried a dollop of pizza, and although it's possible, I do not recommend it. The word grievous is spelled G-R-I-E-V-O-U-S, and for some reason I will never remember that, but I'm going to try. Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is a natural light display in the Earth's sky, predominantly seen in the high altitude regions like what covers most of Alaska, northern parts of Canada, the southern half of Greenland, Iceland, northern Norway, Sweden, and Finland. So definitely on the old bucket list. I just finished Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, that we talked about. Uh, It was fantastic, and I highly recommend it. Speaking of president's wives, uh, Trump's wife is Melania, and his actual his second daughter is Ivanka I didn't realize that uh speaking of books I did read Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott that uh Mary suggested as we are both writers entrepreneurial potential writers uh and, and it was fantastic it was so inspiring and educational if you are a writer it's it's a wonderful book And it's got this quote that I just, it spoke to my soul. It's a little dark, but I wanted to share it with you. Uh, She says, it's not like you don't have a choice because you do. You can either type or kill yourself. There you go. Oh, and the bird quote from the book and romantic comedy, it is a romantic comedy. The notebook is, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. I'll be whatever you are. It just, oh, it just breaks your heart. So sweet. Um, I don't think anybody should get in the car with strangers. Uh, it worked out really well for me. Uh, and the app that we were talking about to keep you safe uh, if you're out there in the streets um, is Noonlight. That's what I use. I put my thumb down on a button, and if my thumb is away from that button. I have a certain amount of time to type in a passcode. If I don't do that, then the authorities are um, called. I haven't tested it that far because I I don't want to cry wolf, but supposedly it works. Um, Some other apps are Circle of Six, Scream Alarm, Silent Beacon, Be Safe, Red Panic Button, Watch Over Me, SOS stay safe. Some of these are kind of costly, but if they keep you safe or give you a little peace of mind, it might be worth it. Um, Some of them send uh, emergency 
responders to your location. Some of them uh, contact designated people in your contact lists uh, and send your GPS location. Um, having said that, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like Big Brother, like watching out of you, you might not want to be downloading these. Um, but some other tips about like walking around big cities or like potentially dangerous areas alone. Um, some tips. It's not great actually to have your phone in your hand at all because it can get snatched really easily um, and it can distract you from your surroundings. It's a good idea to change your routine and don't let anyone know your itinerary or plans that you don't trust. You don't get stalkers that way. Um, it's important to write down all your tech serial numbers, which I never thought about, but I came upon this tip the other day. Um, and keep those numbers in a, in a safe place because pawn shops and places like that are required to write down serial numbers. So if your phone does get stolen or your laptop or something expensive and important like that, you'd be able to look it up um, whether it was yours or not. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. The author of Fifty Shades of Grey is E.L. James. And I really, I don't mean any offense to her at all because I kind of actually have like a lot of respect for her. She sold 125 million copies of her books worldwide. So fucking props, man. Good job. Oh, speaking of uh, speaking offensively when I when I uh, am in, in jest, when I'm joking, uh, men are not terrible. Not even the white ones. Comedy Sports is at the CSZ Theater in Chicago on West Belmont Avenue. And you can find out about their shows at CSZChicago.com. Mary and I have already have plans of going there together soon. I'm so excited. Uh, modicum, the term modicum means a reasonable but not large amount of it. And we were talking about the success that I want for people. So actually I want like lots of lots of success, not a modicum of success, like mostly a lot of it. Um, let's see. I hit up Mary about her uh, promotion, about how her job's going. Um, she's getting settled, and she actually has four direct reports underneath her, and it's very exciting. And some of them she manages remotely, which is a tough, which is tough, but it's a good challenge. And she's um, excited about being in this new position. Um, I want to make a correction from last week, actually. I mentioned the Flatiron Building and the intersection that it's at, and I named off all the roads that are there, and it's actually shortened. It's called Six Corners in Wicker Park. Um, not to be confused with the Six Corners in Portage Park, which is known as the Six Corners since the 1920s. Um, but what I found really interesting about this is the Six Corners in Wicker Park, since there's already Six Corners, it has been discussed uh, giving it a new nickname uh, and some people, many people are already using this new nickname for the intersection and it's called The Crotch and that just made me happy. Uh, anyway, short for form versus long form improv. Um, I found a good uh, way of thinking about it and it's that long form is to jazz as short form is to pop. Um, and Second City shows and classes are or Second City shows are a mix of sketch comedy, short form, and long form. So it's kind of like all of it. Short form improv is like more gimmicky and more based on like silly games or handles and less based on like one solid narrative and characters. Um, long form is more like related scenes and of course like longer. And I, I'd say a bit more challenging um, and it's like with long form, I feel like the payoff is a lot higher and the risk is a lot higher, so it's interesting. Um, after this interview, Mary and I had a really good time. We took our, you know, little promo pics uh, and uh, I found out that her arms are longer than mine, which was wonderful for taking selfies. And then as she's, like, flipping through the pictures on my phone, I, uh, she she did see that picture of my my bra bursting on accident so surprise i wasn't actually planning on showing her that but it, it all worked out um 
And then after leaving the second city, we walked to a Whole Foods. And uh, that was my first time at a Whole Foods. And it was like being in fucking Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Did you know they have like a, an escalator for your shopping cart? Oh my God. I sent an empty shopping cart up like three floors. It was awesome. I had time of my life. Um, also, I watched that chimpanzee riding on a Segway video and it was delightful. Well, I think that's all I have for today. Next week, we've got Jacques Bellev Belliveau all the way from North Kakalaki from when I visited North Carolina I got some great interviews in and so I cannot wait to share Jack's interview with you another Jack a second Jack Jack number one they're both Jack number one in my book that doesn't make sense but uh thank you for listening and until soon